Hi, it's Jonathan McHugh. We're back for Q-Score at the fourth annual Music Supervisor Awards at the beautiful Max Senate Studios. I'm sitting here with Joel C. High, one of the founding members of the organization and uh, board member. Joel, Joel was very actively involved in putting this event on. Joel, tell us about this venue and why one of, you were one of the proponents for working doing the show here. Uh, when we were looking at originally doing this event, one of the, the big reasons for choosing this time was to tie it closely in with the Academy Awards. So we looked originally at places like the Beverly Hills Hotel and other, like, you know, very kind of like, you know, Tony venues like that. Um, but when we found this venue and it was its old Hollywood roots and the silent film and the origins of music in movies, we thought it was a perfect fit. It was much more of our style, of our kind of a little bit. We're not exactly the, uh, you know, the the uh the let's just say the fanciest people we like oh no, we're less than fancy yeah we like things a little bit dirtier so we picked some place that really had a, a, a feeling for you know the process of the filmmaking so and as a music supervisor tell tell me one of your favorite things and why you love being a music supervisor with all the challenges that it presents um honestly it's it's perhaps the best job we get to work with you know people in music and in film and television and kind of bring them all together so it's a way of helping tell stories with music in ways that uh, you know people you know can really relate to and really have an emotionality to it so it's it's kind of like a really fulfillment of a dream and what's currently keeping you busy uh, right now we just finished up a couple of movies one of which that I was producer on in uh, New Orleans called Una Vida um, and we just started a television series called Hit the Floor for VH1, and we have a couple other projects right now in the works. So you're rocking. How, talk about the concept of moving from and incorporating different uh, roles like producer. Talk about how music supervising gives you the skill set to move on and, and do other things while you're doing it. Being a music supervisor, you kind of have to, uh, you know, when people ask you what a music supervisor is, it's not somebody who makes music. It's somebody who helps, you know, cultivate those who make music do what they do best. So it kind of lends itself to a lot of other mediums. If you understand how the psychology of working with creative people, it kind of goes into, like, you know, in essence, I know that you know, understand this, is being a producer on films, you know how to work um, with a bunch of different people. You know how to work with an orchestra, for example, specifically in music supervision, how to do licensing. So you know business affairs, you know how to do budgeting, you know how to work with creative people. So it lends itself easily to doing um, a number of jobs in entertainment. One of the most important things in music supervision is a building and establishing a long-term relationship with directors and producers. Joel has worked a lot with the amazingly prolific Tyler Perry. Talk about that relationship and how that got started and how that works, to, you know, moves on, uh, moves on to this day. So I started working with Tyler when I was the head of music over at Lionsgate and I worked on his first film, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. And um, we, I knew of his work before from his plays. And so when we first met and started talking, you know, we established a kind of a rapport about, you know, he was somebody who was very much had an idea of what he wanted and would express it and was very clear about it. And I really appreciated that. So, you know, it took, you know, you know, just a little while for me to kind of develop an ear for what he said and what he wanted. And then I started delivering it to him. and. I made it simple for him and I got exactly what he wanted and that's how we continued. I've worked on every one of his films and all of his television series and uh, it's... How many different projects you figure that is? <laughs> he has done uh, over a dozen films, almost all of them number one, and he has uh, probably over a thousand hours of uh, scripted television that he's done so far. And that is the secret of success right there. Work with tremendous people that have great creativity, respect what you do, and do the right thing by them. Thanks very much for coming in, Joel. Thank you, absolutely, this is great. For more Q-Score, please check us out at EmpowerMe.TV to find out what goes on behind the curtain and how the film and TV music gets made. It happens right here. Tune in.